Hi everybody. Today I want to start a new Minecraft series. We'll see if it goes more than a couple episodes, but who knows, where I use the Minecraft tic-tac-toe generator to come up with random quests that I need to complete in each of the episodes. The, uh, the tic-tac-toe board is similar to like Bingo, where except this one's 3x3 three three instead of 5x5, five five. but it is updated to the latest snapshot with everything, so I thought it'd be a good way to go about and give myself some goals for how to adventure through this thing. So let's make ourselves a new world. Okay, so we got ourselves a new world here. Looks basically like everything else. I did set it up to hardcore. Boy, uh, a couple of trees would be nice. But anyway, all right, before we get going, let's see what these quests are going to be. So let's see, I hit the little refresh button here, and we get this stuff. Okay, so these are the things I got to do. So let's see here. We got acacia wood, which is probably not going to be a thing that I'm going to be able to do. An enchanted weapon I could probably do if I find a shipwreck or a um, rune portal. That wouldn't be too bad. Blue sheep, um, dig a canal that just got to dig up someplace. Leaves, I just need some iron for that. That's not too bad. Emeralds, if I find a village. So as you can see, yeah, these are the things I got to do. Um, nothing really too hard. There are five levels on this, on the difficulty that I can do from very easy to very hard. Huh, I need to find a village. I think that's the best place to start with. So as I was hitting trees, I realized that there's a shipwreck out here, which that will make things a little bit that might help out as far as getting that enchanted weapon or something. That might help. Um, anyway, the rules for this are pretty simple. You just have to get three in a row, and that's just what happens. There's nothing, like, super beneficial if I get the three in a row. It's all about just doing it just for accomplishment, because that's what it kind of is in Minecraft. You just need things to do. So let's go see what's on the boat. All right, shipwreck. Let's see. I probably should have built myself a, made myself a, an axe to get into this thing. All right, axe in hand. Now let's just get in here this way. I always have a thing where I feel like I'm, oh. Every, all the goodies. So now I have, oh, armor trims, some emeralds, some lapis, some iron. You know, I want the chest too. See if there's anything else. If there's a lower level on this thing. I think there is. Yep, cool. We're gonna get the ship, get the map. Yay, buried treasure. So let's see what that buried treasure map looks like. Where's that at? It's nearby. This is not my intention of what I was looking to do, but you know what? If the opportunity strikes you, you kind of got to take it. All right, so this should be about here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to dig it up with an armor trim. Hey, I found it. I can't believe I actually found that right off the bat. That's amazing, the fact that I got so lucky. Okay, diamonds. Wow. Okay, so we're off to a really good start, and this was not this was not what I was intending to be doing. Um, I think the next thing I need to do is I'm going to go get some wood, and then I'm going to go find a village. One of my quests here is to get leaves, so since I chopped down some trees, why don't we do that as well? There we go. Leaves. I think I've now checked that off the box. Yep, we got 39 leaves already, and I only needed 28, so perfect. Although... I do have the other thing to, to make, what does it say? Make a vacation home primarily using leaves. So why don't I get a whole bunch of these? I think I'll just use up an entire shear. All right, leaves accomplished. I have multiple stacks of leaves now. Leaves, 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 leaves. I just realized though, I don't have a boat. I better go get a boat, or not a boat, a bed. I need a bed. Definitely making this a little tighter than I need to on time. If I can get a couple pieces of wool. Oh, there we go. I'll make a black bed. All right, day one is completed. I only got the leaves, but it's, you know, we're moving. We're doing, how could I not get that treasure chest? Oh, look, there's another boat over there. We got to get that boat, too. We just had to get boats. I mean, they're too good not to. All right, let's see what this boat has in store for us. Okay, the first chest is, oh, more trims. Not much as far as loot. Actually, pretty disappointing. All right, let's see what the other the other chests have. All right, in here, more trims. Wow, we got a lot of trims. Amazing. Another loot chest, and there should be food over here. Yep, a bunch of food. Not a ton, but some. Okay. So my guess is that this treasure map would be the same as the last one. No, actually, I think it's a different one. That's cool. Since I've seen you finding a whole bunch of loot, I decided to make a, a chest boat, which are great additions to this game. All right, let's go find this treasure chest, and then I'm kind of, I mean, I know I've got my other little quest that I'm going to do, 
but how can I pass up on free loot? Took me a while to find it, but it looks like I found where the treasure chest is. It's going to be somewhere right around here. Should be right down there. Okay, let's let's hope we get lucky. Oh, found it. Cool. That one better than expected. Get all the goodies. All right, cool. So I already got two treasure chests, and I got a bunch of loot, which is kind of funny that I just do. Not my intention, but hey, the opportunity is there. You got to take it. Where'd my boat go? Oh, there it is. So at this point, the question is probably being asked, why don't you just do the quest right now? Since I could just get the sheep, I could probably dye them if I kill the skeleton, I could get the bone meal to make light blue, since they're here on the island, and I can make the leaf house, because I have it, and the pathway, that's pretty simple. The reason being is because it's kind of a long-term thought with the um, village. If you get a village, you, there's a lot of building quests in the... Um, and the tic-tac-toe um, generator. So it makes sense to have a village. That way you can add to the village as you're going. So that's part of the reason why I'm looking for a village. It just kind of makes it better in the long term because you're going to, there's a lot of things you're going to build. Granted, I could just build, create my own village, but I'm going to go find a village because I'm lazy. So I promise you, my goal here is not to just be finding pirate ships that is, or sunken treasures and all that. That is not my intention, but Here's the third boat I found just in this little bit of looking for a village. I really have not looked that hard either, and I'm just finding boat after boat after boat. So i got to raid them. I mean, I have to. They're here. Okay, and this chest has... I'm going to have a lot of iron already. It's like tons of iron already to start. And yes, I realize I'm actually probably messing myself up because at some point there are quests that to go find a sunken, a sunken ship. So I'm messing myself up for that, but oh well. I'm greedy and I want I want loot and stuff. Ooh, we got armor. Okay. So the other reason why I want to look through these things, you never know what you might find. So I got armor, that's cool. If I had found a weapon, but I don't think you can get a weapon in a boat. Alright, let's equip. Fire protection four and fire protect Damn, okay. It's actually really good leather gear. Okay, looks like the one chest is here. Should be down here. There it is. I'm not going to need to do any iron mining at all. Awesome. So, yeah, we're. <laughs> I'm finding all sorts of things that I was not really anticipating finding. I still need to find a village, though. See another rune portal on the horizon, though. That could be the weapon I need. All right, here's the hoping. Let's see what we get. No. No, no, no. Silk touch, though. That actually could come in handy. I might need that for various reasons we'll see bummer could use like a little gold sword that would have been great mm, bummer still looking for that village but i did see a gold block over there which means you know i should be mining up these golden blocks because i have so much iron i should be doing that but anyway let's see if this has the chest i'm the weapon i'm looking for all right and no it does not another silk touch Huh. Well, I don't need either of those things. That stinks. But I am going to get those golden blocks. Okay. Um, I don't have a lot of blocks. <laughs> I just realized I don't have any blocks. Alright, let's cover with that lava. Okay, now we can dig them up. One and two. Perfect. I had to camp on this beach for the night, and then I realized I parked right next to a portal. Let's go see what that has. All right. Oh, chest armor, horse armor. I wonder what this ruin would have in it. There's a drowner in her somewhere. But maybe I don't have to piss him off. Coal. I don't have any coal. Yeah, that drowned is just like, well, as long as you don't get in the water, it's okay. I'm not going to get in the water, so I'm just going to go right on by you. Be cool to check up some suspicious gravel later on. Why is it I could never find a village when I need a village? This is amazing. Okay, another portal. A lot of these portals. This is why, this is why it's very easy to get enchanted weapons, even though I'm not having the luck on finding the enchanted weapons. Please be it here. Nope. 
More gold nuggets, though. Uh, I don't want prismarine. Prismarine is no good. And a hat. I don't have any hats. It's actually kind of funny at this point that I found more shipwrecks and more shipwrecks and more treasure chests. This is <laughs> not my intention. Okay, what does this one have? More diamonds. So, it's like good stuff. I mean, I'd be stupid not to take it, for sure, right? So you gotta take the stuff. So I found yet another shipwreck, because that's all I'm finding are shipwrecks. I can't find a village, it's amazing. But this is the funny part about it. I found 14 chest <laughs> armor trips already. It's just bonkers. And I got six diamonds, all these underwater breathing potions. This is just stupid. What is going on, game? Why aren't you working? And then I find a guy with a trident. That's going to kill me. Wow. <laughs> that was terrifying. I was not expecting anything interesting to happen, and all of a sudden I'm getting flung out by a, tri a guy with a trident. <laughs> that went from nothing exciting to terrifying in an instant. I don't think I'm ever... That's kind of cool looking. I don't think I'm ever going to find... Oh, there's a mushroom biome. Just because. <laughs> Just because I'm finding everything except what I want. One more portal. Why not? Right? And that counts as a weapon. Right there. I will take that. Binding, so touch, for fortune. Oh, crap. I'm going to drown. My failures are immense. And there's a drown again. Oh my gosh, go away. Why are you guys always bugging me now? Leave me alone. He'll leave me alone. But now, the key to this thing is I've actually, through some stupid process, I've actually got two things in a row. So now I can just build a vacation ho home primarily using leaves. I'm just going to do that. Let's just do it right up on top of that up on top of that mountain right there just and finish this stupid quest and we'll find a village the next time well the view up here is pretty nice i think it definitely would make sense to put a vacation home up here somewhere to get away it doesn't have to be practical there are a lot of mobs down there in the darkness though Whew. let's make a little bridge to get across here because vacation homes are supposed to be somewhere you go to get away right so this would definitely be impractical and get away and we'll just put it right up here which is funny because it's going to become my base of operations for the time being. Oh, I can get acacia wood too. <laughs> that's funny. I could get 28 acacia wood. Huh. That's interesting too. I'm not going there, but that is a strong concentration of mobs right underneath this place. That is crazy. So I'm scoping out this little, my little hill up here. Just checking it out. Took out the trees. So I'm figuring out how I'm going to flatten this out. I realized that I also kept all my leaves down in the um, in my boat. So that's kind of a problem. But as I'm like scoping this out and figuring, maybe I'll put a, maybe I'll put a waterfall here so I can get up and down. I found these guys. So positive, negative, that tells me there must be a village somewhere nearby. And But these guys are just here. So I know what I'm going to do. So, these guys are just kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do here. And then we're going to drop a bomb on them. See how that goes. <laughs> Put that there. And... And presto! My problem solved! <laughs> that was kind of fun. <laughs> Not going to lie, I enjoyed that. Alright, final task is now completed. Let me take you on the pathway. This is my safety bridge. It's actually pretty good because it's a slab, but then the fence holds me on place. So that's cool. Let me take you to Ichabod's, Ichabod leaves here. To get the play on words, it's really lame, I know. So this is my little walkway to the vacation house, which is up there. More walkway. Carved into the middle of the mountain here. See, get all fancy with my, my buildings. And then my little my little leaf house. This is my little leaf vacation house. Isn't it just so charming and delightful? <laughs> Got a little chair here so I can eat my breakfast, sleep. And then I have this little bench out here so that I can sit here and watch the sunset. 
So isn't it amazing? Yeah. So this is what, so this is the vacation house made of leaves and that completes the task. So for with that, that would, the day sets on the, epi on the first episode, <laughs> boy, how, how poetic that is. So anyway, uh, hope you liked it and I will see you next time. Bye.